Alright, today I'm going to show you how to get a footstep controller into your play controller. As you can see, it's very dynamic based on the speed. By run, it plays faster. Walk, what is normally. Alright, inside the script, you want to have a few variables. You want to get Bob frequency, Bob amplitude, and T Bob. This holds it like time. This controls how fast it happens and how long it happens. And you also want to add these other variables, can play and a signal called step. Then we're going to go into your physics process. And you want to add this. This is what's going to control the speed and the time of the footsteps. And it will only play if it's on the floor. Alright, and the head bot function. You just want to copy, you don't have to do all of this, but you should just only have this. This is really what you only need. You want to only have this, and then you're going to have a check for when it reaches a low point. Check if it's lower. And if it's lower, we turn it off, and then we emit a signal step. We do this to avoid spamming the emit signal multiple times. And then when it's gone higher, we turn it back to true. Now we're in the scene, we want to have a marker 3D. That will be the ground position and that's where it's going to play all the sounds. And then we're going to have a, another node 3D. It's going to call it foot, uh, footstep manager. In this script, we're going to have a few variables. I'm going to have an array of audio stream mp3s. Click on here, we can add the audios here. And we have the ground position, just add it, use it this way, just drag it to that position. Then we also want to get the player, and in the ready function, we want to connect the step signal to the play sound uh, function. Now, in this uh, function, we want to create a new audio player, so just like that. And then I'm going to choose a random index from footstep sound effects. Take away one because it's two and it should be one, so it should be zero one. And then we're going to set it to the random index. And I'm going to pitch scale it a little bit. This will give you some variety uh, to the sound. And then in the ground position, this we're going to add the audio player and then we're going to play it. And then the audio player, we're going to get the finish signal from the audio player and connect it to a destroy function which will queue through it, queue free, free it when it's done. And that's how it's done. Thank you for watching.